minutes, 25 minutes about Churchill House. I'm going to tell you a little bit about Churchill House itself as a, as a company. A lot about Ramsgate because the location is really important. And then we're going to work our way through the different departments and tell you about some of the reasons why we think we're different. A lot of the schools you'll have, you'll have met and you will meet, um, they're, they're very, very good quality schools because they're part of um, English UK anyway. But we're going to try and tell you some of the things why we think we're different and why, why you should choose us to go to some of them. Um, starting off, a lot of this you don't need, you don't need to know about. What we've done as well is we've, we've got packs of information. We know that your luggage is quite tight as well. So rather than give you lots of information that some of you will take home and some of you will get them in, what we'll do is we've got a pack of information that we will send to you um, at your offices. Okay, So it's, if, if the information is wrong that we have on the, on the, in the brochures, we need to make sure that that's, that's correct. Because what we'll do is we'll send you a pack of information and some bits and pieces back to your offices. Okay. Uh, Churchill House is a privately owned organisation, um, school. It's been in the same ownership since it began back in 1971, so we're about four, so over 40 years, 42 years old now. Um, 42 years old. Um, one of the leading language schools, um, we've now had about a quarter of a million students working with us. At the minute, we have about 150 students at the school. We have a couple of groups. We work with mainly adults, but we have two groups at the minute. We have an Austrian group with us and a Thai group with us at the minute as well. So we've got between 150 and 200 students at the minute. Um, out of those 250 students, I know exactly that we have 29 different nationalities at the minute. The reason I know that is I have to do a UKBA form um, at the beginning of the week, so I know I can have exactly 29 different nationalities within the school at the minute, okay? This building is the main building for teaching, um, and we have, I think it's 26 to 27 classrooms in this building. Um, and then we have another building that I'll show you in a second, where we have 60 or 17 classrooms. Um, for us, everything is about quality, and I know a lot of schools will tell you that because it is really, really important. What we do is, um, a lot of our marketing is spent on getting the students to have a really, really good time at the school. Um, and if they have a really good time at the school, they'll go back and they'll tell their friends, and their friends will tell their friends, and they'll come to the school. So at the minute, 50% of the students who actually are studying here have come from personal recommendations. Okay, so that makes my job a lot easier, so rather than having to go out and find 100% of new students every time. 50% of the students that, that, that come to Churchill House come to us because they've been recommended by a friend. Okay? So some of the agencies we work with, we've worked with for a long time, they come to us and, and they say, we don't work with you at the minute, but someone has asked us, can we send a student to Churchill House? So they actually recommend. So we know that it is working. And we do research at the end of every student leaving, find out what they thought of the school and uh, what they thought of the teaching and the accommodation. And the feedback is really, really good. On that. So everything's about, <coughs> everything for us is about quality. We hire full-time staff, we hire British nationals, we, have, we don't have, if I give a good example, we don't have taxi drivers, we don't rely on taxi drivers, what we have is we have company drivers um, who we work with for 15 or 16 years. So everything might sound a bit like control freaks, but everything we do, we, we have our own bar downstairs, <coughs> our own club rooms, we do all of that because that's the only way that we know 100% without relying on anyone else we can maintain quality. Okay? And everything we do is, 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 is revolves around quality. Again, a lot of the schools that you'll meet and have met will have a lot of these different badges. Basically, they're a quality assurance. They say that um, we've got British Council, we're part of English UK. One that not everyone might be part of is actually Quality English. Does anyone does everyone know what Quality English is? Yeah. Um, <coughs> not some, I don't know if it's some of the schools, but Quality, quality English is, really, is a really good one for us because um, there are about 26 or 27 schools throughout the UK, some, some uh, worldwide as well. Um, and Carlin Blackmore, the, the chief executive of that company, she works with the schools to um, make sure every three years she does a, a inspection at the school, make sure that the quality of teaching is good, the accommodation. A bit like British Council, but on a smaller scale, because lots of schools have British Council, not everyone's got um, quality English. Okay? Basically, all that's saying is, We've been around for a long time, we've got all the things that you expect us to have in terms of quality. One of the things that not everyone might know about, and um, some people might, UKBA now have insisted that um, schools um, who are highly trusted sponsors um, have an ISI inspection. Do you know that? Yeah? Um, an ISI inspection is a, an independent body working on behalf of the UK Borders Agencies. They come into schools, they give you two weeks warning, <coughs> they come into the school and they look at everything. 
they look at the quality of the teaching, they say, in some instances in inspections, we can, we can say you should go to this class, but in, in this instance they say we want to see this class, we want to see these teachers, we want to see these students. So what they do is they speak to the teachers, they speak to the students, they speak to the host families, um, and they're with us for three days. They look at three different things within the, the inspection. One is the um, quality of teaching and the progress the students make. Um, two is they look at the accommodation and welfare and how we look after the students when we're here, keeping them safe and keeping them well. And the third thing they look at as well is management and leadership and how the how the management and leadership of the school is looking forward so that you know that if you're starting to do business with us now, we're going to be around in five years and ten years. And so you, you have a good idea about we have future plans in place to make sure the stability of the school. Okay. <coughs> the reason I'm telling you about it is because as you might expect, we did really, really well in the inspection. Three different grades, three different areas. Um, the top grade being grade one. Um, exceeds expectations, and then it goes down, meets expectations, something else, and something we don't even look at, okay? Um, and then fails expectations. And in some instances, and um, these are really, really well known ones at the minute, but they actually, the UKBA and the ISI have actually closed down one of the big universities in, in London um, due to it, okay? So they have the powers to do that. So they come in, um, and for us, um, we were very, very fortunate, but also a lot of hard work went into it. And we were very, very pleased that they recognised all the hard work and the uh, in all three areas we exceeded expectations, okay? So my job is to tell you about all the wonderful things and show you all the photographs of the sun shining and the smiling students and everything the sales and marketing. The one thing that I can't do is I have no influence whatsoever on the ISI inspection, okay? So if you want a true reflection, it's very boring, it's about 16 pages, no photographs <laughs> whatsoever. Um, we've got copies of the ISI inspection. A lot of agents are actually using it as to say to students who perspective they're coming to the school have a look at, at least at the executive summary because it gives you a very, very good idea about the school, about how we approach things, how, how fast. These are some of the things they've said, obviously I have to get the, some of the best things they've said as well. But um, this is very, very representative and I personally was really, really pleased with some of the words because these are government people and they don't use words like exceptionally and, and things like that. You know, there's very, things very, very bland. So they've said across three different levels, progress across the school is exceptionally good. Um, Students express an extremely high level, again, governor, these are government people, um, extremely high levels of satisfaction with their accommodation, and the majority of students make progress well above what would be expected, okay? So those are very, very good independent comments about what you can expect if students come to the school and study at Churchill House, okay? Any questions? Everybody still awake? Yeah. Okay, Ramsgate. Ramsgate, you can see it's beautiful sunshine. It holds, it holds one of the records for the, for the hottest days of last year. <laughs> you know, it's, time. it's true. You can see France on a sunny day. You can see people. Um, uh, you can see people on the beaches in France. Um, it's, about, it's, it's a small town. It's safe. Um, it's a small safe town. It's a seaside town. So obviously in the summer we're very very busy with tourists as well. We've got about sixty thousand people living here. Okay, permanently. That probably doubles in the summer when we have lots of tourists as well. Um, it's picturesque, as you can see. And I want you all to see, if you get a chance as well, it's surrounded by golden beaches. The beaches all along this way and all along this way. What we have down in the town, we have a, one of only five royal harbours in the UK. John might tell you why that is later on. I can't remember history, it's never one of my, my good points. Um, but there are only five of them in the UK, and we have one of them in Ramsgate. It's a very, very old um, 19th century, 18th century? 19th century. Uh, very, very Mid 18th, yeah. yeah. Um, um, things. And then it's right on both sides by 15 or 20 kilometers this way, San, and exactly the same the other way. Um, relatively small. The good thing for, from a student's perspective is, and that's what you're interested in, is there's enough. I'm just going to shoot something in section. So I think you should help me. First of all, let me show you where it's at, okay? Does everyone know where they're at? <laughs> you're blindfolded in the bus by phone. Okay, you've come from London and you're out here, okay? It looks a long way. About two hours in the coach, and on the train, the train takes about 65, 70 minutes to get to central London, that's King's Cross, okay? I used to live in London, that's a good example. I, um, I used to live in Wimbledon, in London. It used to take me 40, 45 minutes to get me from, from Wimbledon, from my distance to the centre of London. And the reason a lot of people from London are living in Ramsgate and, and small towns around here is because it's a lot cheaper, it's a better environment for bringing up their kids and their families. Um, but it's also very, very close to London. We have a fast train now. 
Up until two years ago, the train took exactly the same amount of time as it did in the Victorian times, so in the 1800s and the early 1900s, the train took exactly the same time, so there's no progress whatsoever. In the last two years, the train's times have all have reduced by about 45 minutes, so now it's really, really plausible for someone to live here and work in London. And I did that for two years, I lived here in Ramsgate and travelled to London every day. Yeah, that, that's why I look like this green here. Okay. Um, this is a nighttime view of Ramsgate. Um, it's a shame you won't get to see it because it is really, really beautiful. So hopefully you'll see it through the fog early. What we have is um, the school's the school's about here. If you walk down this hill, you've got lots of bars and cafes oh, all on the seafront. <laughs> Residential as well, okay? Cost all 
Costa Rica. I'm not sure if I've missed anything else.